creating your Power BI report from scratch, here are three design tips that will take your report to the next level. First, understand the KPIs and sketch the mock. -up. It is always helpful to open MS Paint and just list down the list of KPIs and decide on which section of the page you will place the KPIs. So I'll start off by first creating the brand logo. Uh, for some of the static KPIs, you can always use the card visuals. So total sales, total orders, average order value, and total customers, right? So you can always show this in the card. So you have sorted the first section of the page. You have uh, you have to showcase last 12 month sales and monthly sales by growth. So we will create a bar chart and a line chart for this. So the middle section of the page we will utilize to create a bar chart. So we will have the monthly sales on Y axis and you will have the name of the months here. So this is Jan, this is Feb, March, and so on. And you also need to show the growth. So this will be how we will be showcasing using a line chart, right? So now once you have uh, addressed those, I think we are left with two. So I'll just divide the uh, screen into two parts. So I have my top five products here and I have my bottom five products here. So similarly, you can uh, create again a vertical chart for this. So let's say this will be my product one, this will be my product two and so on. And similarly, this will be my product one, and this will be my product two, right? So second stage is to go to Power BI service and auto generate a report. Uh, this is really helpful if you have your semantic model ready, you can go to Power BI service and auto create a report. Uh, you can always first pre-select your data so that it will uh, create a better report. If not, if you create, so choose the entire semantic model, uh, it is going to you know not generate it very efficiently. But the good thing is that all your visuals uh, will be aligned, so you can directly leverage this report. Uh, third one is that you can always go to Power BI community and download the themes, right? So you can go to this community and you can always look at, uh, you know, these particular themes, uh, which you can download, right? So that's it. I hope you like this video and you will be able to use these tips to improve your Power BI reports. Thank you.